Hi. Good evening all. Hope you are doing well and great to see you once again. Also I am thankful for your great response on our last workshop. Today we are going to see what is the new changes we have covered in the version number 22.08. Under the sales module, sales representative wise sales target versus actual, customer wise SO summary analysis report, feature to add multiple items in a one go in a inquiry and quotation order level, percentage wise add on charges at sales order level, facility in inquiry to mark with the color stars, added new column remarks in a sales order bomb level. In a sales order checklist provision to add remarks, sales order wise purchase cost budget, control utility, application type wise inquiry summary analysis, credit debt capturing at sales order and inverse level, multiple contact person at inquiry and sales order level. Under the purchase module, feature to add multiple items in one go in purchase order, item code builder. As purchase order and purchase requisition level, percentage wise add on charges at purchase order, all supplier performance report as a MIS added new reports, supplier performance writing at purchase order under the AI tool, in purchase order checklist provision to add remarks, under the quality module. Provision to enter reading details for multiple parameters on the same screen given. Under the source module, genealogy report and material accountability reports has been added. Under the PPC, item by job order consolidation provision is given. Under the inverse module, sales representative wise sales summary analysis. Percentage wise add on charges at performer level and in account module search over option in purchase voucher and purchase voucher other than inventory is given. Credit and debit outstanding without advance in lakhs new dashboard is added. Customer ledger, supplier ledger and journal ledger provided filter of voucher type. Sunday creditor outstanding. New fields added in filter criteria like supplier type under MSME, GST number and for sundry data outstanding also added some new columns customer wise group, customer grade, region, industry type, sales representative under MSME and GST number. Under the communication module in the tasks Registration and template transaction auto expiry option is given. In master module, rate history at item price list level is given. Number of employee probation peer nearing completion period as a new dashboard we have introduced. Sales representative wise sales target versus actual. In this version, we have introduced a new master called as a sales representative by sales target master. In this master, you can set target against individual salesperson and also you can add the breakup as per the sales category. You can see add link in the right corner of the screenshot. We have introduced a new report in MIS module called as sales representative wise sales target versus actual. In this report, we have given provision to filter sales representative wise with individual and all option. Here you can see how much target is achieved by salesperson in a selected period. Under the sales representative wise sales target master, once you click on add button, you can add breakup tab. You will find 
sales category wise target breakup option here you can set category wise breakup against each representative it will help you to monitor sales category wise sales progress as well in this slide you can see how report works as per the sales category wise filter we have a given multiple categories selection option with the sales person as well once you select the category and representative criteria system will show you the target versus actual invoices and order value this report also helpful to management to set incentive for sales person customer wise so summary analysis this is the mis report here you can view sales order as well as invoice wise breakup in a monthly or a yearly basis in this report you can see customer wise contribution in a selected criteria also you can filter with the currency wise as well so it will help you to export sales in a same pattern here you can view monthly breakup of all the sales orders valued in terms of customer based on this report this report will be useful to understand which customer is gives us a more order compared to others feature to add multiple items in one go in a inquiry and sales order level in inquiry and sales order registration level we have given a new tab as a multiple item there we have given provision to select multiple different item in a single window it help us user to add more items in a single click also we have introduced a new field of enter number of items counter field for creating number of sales in a case user required minimum number of records to update additional comment filter provision in quotation level this feature is very useful to filter quotation based on a specific word tag here user can filter quotation report with the help of his comment sections like hot inquiry or hashtag mention in the comment section for identification purpose you can see a screenshot we have enter hot inquiry word in a comments field and system shows inquiry records accordingly percentage wise add on charges at sales order level new feature introduced in a inquiry and order registration level that is percentage once you click on add charges button you can see percentage field and amount filled with the basic total for calculation purpose if you update percentage in that box then system will calculate amount on a basic total refer the above screen here we have entered 30% in a field and system calculated rupees 36000 on the basic total of rupees 122000 after sub submitting save button in the detail level you can see the charges amount with the duty percentage if you selected hsn in previous pop up window system will allow user to change amount value if the requirement is changed facility to marking colorful stars for prioritizing inquiries here you can see how we can mark colorful stars for each inquiry also you can group your inquiries as per the color wise identification you can set your favorite color to important inquiries and it will help you to in quick searching in the first form of inquiry in edit mode we have a given provision to select a or mark as a star for a favorite favoritism as per your priority 
or a lead we have given a multiple color choices in the filter form of inquiry new criteria is added as shows favorite here you can select your required star color to filter records after selecting criteria you can view only those records which are marked as a star in sales order bomb creation page we have added new column as a remarks in the sales order bomb level we have given separate text box for remarks basically this field we can use for multiple purpose like updating special note for each item level or updating reason for bomb changes how you can use this user can update reason of changes the bomb component or quantity for recording purpose so in future when ever we review this records then system will show you the purpose of this changes in sales order level checklist provision add remarks is given in sales order level we have added new field as a remarks for each checklist point what is the use so basically we can use this field to capture reason or purpose of the checklist point which we are not following as per the given terms like if you mark check red point as a no then we can update the reason behind that so in future auditor or management will know why the user did this sales order wise purchase cost budget control utility this is a new add on feature we have introduced in this version for a management point of view here we can control our purchase cost against each sales order value so it will help us to monitor our sales profitability we have introduced new sales order group master and in this master purchase budget and cost center budget field is added here you have to mention the budget in percentage for each group category of sales this master is linked with the sales order and purchase order as well here you can see master budget percentage for a reference purpose and based on a sales order value system shows the estimated purchase cost and cost center budgetary value it will help sales or organization to monitor the profitability of every project for example sales order value is rupees 10 lakhs 20000 and 40% purchase value will be rupees 4 lakh 8000 at the time of purchase order booking system automatically restrict the user to approve the order if it goes beyond the budget cost here system is not allowing to generate the order if purchase value goes beyond the percentage of the sales order terms system shows the red highlighted error message for restriction purpose under master module in cost center module sales order number tagging provision is given also system automatically update the cost center name as a so number so user need not to any non standard name as a cost center also it will easy to understand for tagging account for expenses and material purchases after updating master system shows utilization and amount and percentage in po level also once we book the supply invoices and creating the purchase voucher there we have given a cost center option to tag so number as a cost center in ms module we have added a new report as a sales order wise budget and actual report here you can see system shows the purchase and cost center budget comparison for each sales order level 
application type wise inquiry summary analysis in this version we have introduced some more dashboards one of this application type wise summary inquiry analysis this dashboard shows chart with the summary in graphical dashboard screen here you can see inquiry summary with the detail in value as well this dashboard also shows the chart and value summary of graphical section here you can see the sales summary in chart and value in a single click now we will see how it works basically we have introducing a new application master under the sales model you can create multiple application type with the linking with industry type also we ask the application type field in a customer master level this master must have to assign application type to customer so when user register a new inquiry or a sales order system will automatically reflect data in the dashboard our existing order and inquiry data also we can fetch credit dates capturing at sales order level and invoice level earlier we had asked to credit dates filled at customer master level only and reports also reflect based on that but that was a problematic in case credit date change as per the terms credit terms now we have a option now we have a given provision to add credit dates at sales order level so system shows first from master and their user can modify as per the conditions sales order credit dates automatically transfer to dispatch level so flow of the credit dates process goes smoothly here we can control the human errors from dispatching point of view multiple contact person at inquiry and sales order level it's a add on features under the shortcut link of document related tab you can see the contact person detail link once you click on that you will see a separate functionality for adding multiple contacts in a single transaction here system will help to user for doing the follow ups if there is a multiple person are involved also we can add the optional contact person detail for future reference purpose feature to add multiple items in a one go in purchase order level at purchase order level we have added a new tab for multiple item here user can add multiple with the different item codes in a single click it helps user to save the time in a daily basis routine pr quantity control also we have introduced in this tab item code builder at purchase order and purchase execution level this is a very user friendly and user feature we have introduced for specific flow con industries or for those who use our item code builder master for creating item as per the requirement and parameters in a single item tab in front of the item drop down field you can see the plus button once you click on plus button system shows the item code builder template screen here user can select the parameter and click save button once save button is clicked system created the item master and in the item drop down that code automatically shows for further percentage wise add on charges at purchase order level here also we have introduced a new field for a percentage no need to do manual calculation process just enter percentage in the field so system will automatically calculate the amount for reference purpose we also shows the base total of the purchase order all supplier performance reports this is a summary report of supplier performance this new ms report shows all the supplier performance rating in a single click in this report we have shown total number of gr in line item counts delivery performance in a percentage quality percentage and final net score 
This report is very important to purchase team to see all the performance in a single report. Also, here we have a given provision to block the supplier where we don't want to do the further business or temporary restriction purpose. Supplier performance rating at purchase order AF. One more point added in the artificial intelligence. In purchase order detail page, you can see supplier performance rating ratio. It helps to take the decision whether we have to raise the purchase order or not. It helps in future audit also where purchase are giving, giving the repeat purchase order to a bad performer. In purchase order, checklist provision is added. In checklist panel, new remarks field is given to capture the reason or special note. In case if we are not able to follow the checkpoints, we can update the reason for that. So in future, we can refer it and take the decision. Provision to enter reading details for a multiple parameters on a same screen. This feature we have introduced to reduce time in a data entry for quality person. Here, user can enter multiple reading details in a single click. Once you click on an add button, multiple reading details capturing screen will open. We have kept a single entry also, so it user friendly for the user. Genealogy report. We have introduced a new MIS report where you can view the traceability of your dispatch material lot. This report is very useful to track back the lot flow in an easy way. Under the MIC module, genealogy report you can find in an inverse tab. In the filter criteria, inverse number and item number filter option is there. Based on inverse number, further details will display. Here you can see the all line rip items of selected inverse number. Also, we have provided lot number which is dispatched to the customer. Once you click on a lot number, further details will be visible. Once you click on a lot number, component details will appear. Also, lot number you can view in front of item code number. Each lot number shows their individual details. If you click on a main item number, then it shows the job details. Final inspection information of job order also you can view. If you click on a component, it shows opening details if opening stock is used. Material accountability report. In this report, you can view the base item lot number wise traceability. In the filter criteria, we have asked the item code number selection option. On selection of that item, issued lot number will be visible. Once you select the lot, further details will be visible in the same report. Stock details with the utilization and total value. Lot issued of job details, here you can see this lot is which job we had used. Also, in your detail, user can view if available. Item by job order consolidation. This is the setting based functionality we have given. In this feature, we have given creating single job document for a multiple requirements. This function only we can use in case of master bomb is used. This feature is not available in case we have a sales order bomb provision. You can see system created a single job order for a multiple item. Sales representative was sales summary analysis report. New MS report introduced under the inverse app. Here we have given multiple filter criteria like sales reason, sales category, sales representative, industry type, etc. User can view local and export dispatch in a single report. 
this report provided chart functionality with the sales person was value summary in the indian currency only percentage was add on charges at pro forma invoice percentage field also introduced in pro forma level you can find this field in add on charges tab user can use for calculation purpose or they can enter directly amount as well in the detail level value will visible here we can modify also searchable option in purchase voucher and purchase voucher other than inventory this function we have added in account module in the purchase voucher detail level you can see under the particular section ledger drop down is there earlier this drop down was shown all the ledgers in a scrolling way now user can type the ledger name and search the records this will help to reduce the scrolling time new dashboard where you data and credit are outstanding excluding the advance value it will help accountant to see exact outstanding amount in a home screen in this dashboard feature we have a given provision to see total value in lakhs for this month and also overview of amount visibility option once you click on value system will show the details report of the debtor and creditor customer ledger supplier ledger and general ledger filter this is the most useful functionality we have added in this version in the ledger report new filter option we have introduced that is a voucher type now you can filter the records with a specific voucher type wise also so it will help to refer on only those records which you need to see like only receive or only payment if i want to see then i will select only that type new filter column added in creditor and debtor outstanding report in creditor outstanding report some new filter option we have added like supplier type under msme gst number under msme filter we can use for those creditor where we have to do payment within a 45 days sundry data outstanding customer group customer grade region industry type sales representative under msme gst number column selection option is given auto expiry option in task and template transaction this is a very important and useful feature we have introduced in task template and task creation level introduce a new field as a expiry after a target date yes or no option selection if user selected the yes option then system will automatically close the task after the completion of target date it help us to remove all the completed or incompleted tasks from the pending list if user forgot to mark completion then system will automatically close based on a target date expiry rate history at item price list this feature added in master level rate history in price list level so it will help us to view all our previous so order rates history in a single click system will show all the past rate history recording belongs to the items number of employee probation nearing completion period a new dashboard introduced for hr in this dashboards we can see number of employees those probation period is expired 